I'm Ted, the Handy Horseman. And what I want to do is take a few minutes here and uh, explain and demonstrate the soft touch bit transition system that we use here at Windy Hill Farm that we came up with. Uh, what we've discovered over the years is when you get a horse and you transition a horse with a bit, it's kind of like learning to ride a bicycle. Where when a child starts to ride a bicycle, you put training wheels on, they build their confidence, and then as things progress, you can take the training wheels off, and then one day they just take off and ride off onto the wheel. Well, it's almost the same way with a horse. They, you know, we have to start out very mildly and very subtly to get that horse's confidence built and get it to where it is relaxed and has confidence and, um, and trusts us. And so, you know, I like to say all the time, horse bits are like fishing lures. There's a thousand of every shape, color, and size you can think of. But the reality is with fishing lures, if the fish are biting, it really doesn't matter what you use. So a lot of the times with your bit, it doesn't really matter what bit you have. It's your hands and how you've disciplined yourself to ride and balance. There's so much more that goes into it than just the bit. So, you know, what I would do if I were you all is go to some other videos and we talk about things like softening your horse and preparing your horse uh, to ride and we talk about rider balance. And so uh, there's a lot of things that go into uh, riding a horse and bidding a horse other than just a bit. So what I want to show you here is when we get a horse and we first start out with a horse, our basic gear is we have a hand tied what I call horseman's halter and then we have a 12 and a half foot piece of arbor rope and that will follow that horse through his entire life probably. If we wear this under the bridle, we do all of our in-hand work with that, and uh, we have it designed where you can uh, it's got a ring underneath here. So when I ask for lateral flexion, the ring slides over and I can tip his nose in both directions. So I can soften his jaw and get that lateral bend. So we take our horse in his horseman's halter. We've got a little ring right here underneath that we can, that ring will rotate from side to side so we can get a lateral bend with our horse when we do our in-hand work. So when we first start with a horse, we're gonna use that horse, what we would call in hand horsemanship. So we go to the obstacle course and we're gonna walk trot canter in both directions. We're gonna saddle him. We're gonna do all of our uh, preliminary schooling, backgrounding in hand. So we have a 48 inch little, what I call a wand. And then I've got a little piece of silk tied on the end and you want to use silk because it doesn't absorb water. Uh, if you use a piece of rag or a handkerchief or something when it gets wet it gets heavy. So this is real light and I can do my in-hand work with this. Okay so the first you know and there's no set time but it takes several weeks to get a horse to where he's bending and soft in hand with your horseman's halter in the rope. And then what we're going to do is we're going to leave that halter and rope on and then we're going to use our what I call our schooling bridle which is this and our schooling bridle has got a regular three-piece or a two-piece snaffle this one happens to have a three-piece and most of them come with a two-piece snaffle which at this stage it really isn't that important. And then you've got a nose band that goes over his nose. So we're gonna put this on and the horse is just gonna pack the bit. And I've got a video here that we'll insert of a horse we're working with today with this rig. 
and we'll use a German martingale that will not allow him to toss his nose or to uh, give resistance through the bit. Okay. So here, when we signal this horse with our contact, with our rein, I want his signal to be primarily on his nose, the bridge of his nose. And then he's just going to carry that bit in his mouth. So maybe he'll get 20% contact in his mouth and maybe 80% on the bridge of his nose. A lot of people will take that uh, school of horse in their horseman's halter, work off the bridge of his nose, and then transition straight to contact in his mouth. Now think about that for a minute. That's a huge transition for him to make. So what we want to do is transition him very um, mild, like these are the training wheels, okay? We're gonna get him to where he's responding off the bridge of his nose, he's just packing the bit. Once he softens up and he gets accustomed to that, then what we're gonna do is use this. This is just a regular three-piece snaffle. This happens to be a D-ring, okay? Which we have an O-ring and D-ring. And these are rope reins, half inch, with a little leather, what we call a slobber strap. And we like that because if you'll notice how that hinge effect is established and that horse will start responding to that softness. It's just like a hinge effect. This curb strap is on this bit just to keep from pulling the bit through his mouth. It really has no purpose other than that, okay? So we're gonna transition from our schooling bridle to this. And you're gonna ride that horse for a long time like this. And we're gonna do all of our schooling, which I would call intermediate schooling, in a rig like this. You can ride this in a German martingale, but our goal is, is we're gonna try to wean him off of those as soon as we can. But we don't want our horse popping his head up. We don't want him to root in his nose. And we're going to take him and bend him, do figure eights and serpentine. And we're going to spend a lot of time doing transitions. Walk, trot, walk, trot, trot, walk, trot, walk, trot, walk, back and forth, back and forth. And we're going to walk fast, walk slow, trot fast, trot slow, do half halts. And that's all going to be done in this right here. Okay. And then, horse invites us to go to the next level, we're going to ride him in a curb. This is a curb bit. It has the same mouthpiece as the ring bit or the D-ring, okay? But this has a curb that goes under his jaw, and this bit here we designed with a ring on the shank, okay? And then we have this where we can stick our strings of our martingale, German martingale, through here. If we want to ride the horse in a German martingale, we'll come through here and then we'll signal him. And that kind of gives the same hinge effect as those slobber straps did in the snap. Okay. And then when you're riding around, as your reins move, it neutralizes the motion in the horse's mouth. And then if I want to bend him laterally, see how that ring goes like that? This works really good. And this will get a horse very soft, very responsive. And I would say that most of the time, most of the folks I know and deal with that uh, ride in a traditional, more classical way, and ride in a class, classical, more um, recreational type riding, doing ranch work or trail rides or uh, intermediate to upper level riding. This might be all you ever need. And if you want to advance past this, you can go to a solid bit and, uh, you know, a little more uh, advanced bit. But we won't get into that right now. So uh, that is a whole new ballgame. And that's advanced horsemanship there. But 
What I wanted to do today is just explain the, the steps involved of transitioning your horse from the original in hand. So whether he's a two year old or whether he's an eight year old that you're trying to, what I would call unlearn from some bad habits or try to uh, uh, develop a horse into being soft and supple. This system here has proven itself very successful on thousands of occasions and it's an accumulation of many, many, many years of trial and error and uh, trying to bring the best out in our horse in a non-forcible way. Uh, a lot of times I find people ride their horses more mechanically and less with feel and with softness. So when we start the horse on the first day in his horseman's holder, that's all based on softness. That's all on us trying to accumulate uh, and create softness and communication and contact from our hands to that horse through softness, which uh, as you'll notice and as you experience, you know, this comes with time, it comes with patience, I like to say this is something that has to be learned. It can't be taught. We can talk about it, I can tell you about it, I can try to uh, share ideas with you, but really there's no substitute for you just getting on your horse and feeling it in your hands and creating that contact of softness and willingness and obedience, relaxation, and really start to learn to uh, or experience the essence of true horsemanship. So this is Ted at the Handy Horseman, and that's how I recommend that you transition a horse with a bit.